In this video, we will look at the essentials of reading um, these maps. I'm not going to go into the details of uh, what the different colors mean, what uh, health maps are, what moisture maps are. Um, I will talk about those things um, in uh, the next few uh, videos. Um, let's uh, do a quick tour of um, what you're actually seeing here. To the left, you'll obviously see the dates um, dates that we've got images of. Um, to the uh, top left, we've got a um, button that says Edit Fields. That's where you can edit your fields. Um, top right, you've got the pin issue, and we'll talk about that later. And then in the bottom right, we've got the index color, which we'll also talk about uh, in uh, future videos. Uh, but for now, just want to uh, quickly talk about the most essential things. The most important thing that you need to do is to make sure that there are no clouds. Otherwise, uh, these colors just wouldn't make sense. Uh, and you will see what I mean uh, right now. Um, so here everything looks fine, and that's because everything is fine. There are no clouds visible. But if we go back to the health layer and we move down um, to the eighth, everything is red. And you might be wondering why this is, and the reason for that is because of clouds. You will see that uh, it's completely white, and, and uh, the reason for that is because we've got clouds. Um, it might not be that obvious, but if you move down a couple of more, you will see here we've got clouds uh, as well. It's got this thin layer of white that's kind of just hanging over this, these fields. Also, it would distort the colors, uh, so the, all the colors would be faded. Um, just looking further, I just want to show you another example here. Um, I think it's this one maybe. Okay, so here's an example of uh, partial um, cloud cover. Uh, you'll see that there's only cloud cover on the one side, but no cloud cover on the on the left hand side and you'll see that there's actually a little bit of clouds hanging over this spot here. Now if you look at the health maps uh, you will see that it's completely red here and that's just because of the clouds. You'll see that it's covering this whole area here and to the left you've got some uh, plant bigger that's coming through there. If you look at the moisture uh, layer you'll see that these colors are completely distorted and that's just purely because clouds got water in it and it's kind of detecting the water in the clouds and that's kind of why you have these blobs of uh, yellow and blue coming through. So, so when you look at these maps, the most important thing that you need to do is to actually look at the cloud cover, the color layer first and make sure that uh, there are no uh, clouds visible. Um, so then once you've cleared that out, um, the, the most important thing after that is just to look at anomalies. Um, so, and once you start to look at the anomalies, how uniform or uh, ununiform it is, it's, you can start pointing out certain things. Like if you look at this um, uh, half pivot here, you'll see that there's a concentric circle um, that's um, running uh, uh, around this um, concentric um, circle. Um, and I don't know whether this is uh, act the actual track. Uh, I don't think so. It might be partially that. Um, uh, but if I look at these, uh, this section there and this section there, it seems like uh, it's something else. Also, if you look um, to previous uh, dates, it's actually not there. Um, obviously, there the plants is, are still small. There we've got that concentric circle still. Now it's actually even more prominent. Um, there you'll see the same thing. Um, and... Um, at some point it actually disappears so which makes me think that this might be a new thing it might not be a soil issue many of these um, uniformity is normally caused by soil differences um, but by looking back into the history uh, you can get a clear idea of whether this is a soil issue or whether this is actually a new issue coming up so um, so what I would do here is um, as you look through these maps and see um, uh, differences uh, I would just uh, pin the issue uh, so I would click in the top right pin issue and I would click a pin there and I would make make a comment there and say um, possibly a clogged nozzle um, and then that's that's a conversation point that you can have with uh, with a client uh, and I will continue to do that with all of these um, um, different maps um, so the thing is uh, that um, you normally won't know what the 
issue is un unless you've got um, enough context here. So I would normally just ask the client, like, okay, what's happening here? So I should actually say here, possibly a clock nozzle or or do you know what's happening here? Okay. Now obviously, um, you might have this conversation in person and then you can just ask, ask him, like, um, is, uh, what, what is actually happening here? Um, so if he doesn't know what uh, the problem is, um, if it's a surprise to him, a great way to actually go and inspect that is to open up this um, link on your phone, um, click on this pin or tap on this pin, and then you will see to the bottom left, um, there's a button that says guide me here. And then that, that would open up Google Maps. I'm going to just quickly display that to you. Um, you see the pin would come up and you'll be able to actually get directions um, to that uh, specific point. Um, and it normally just works best if you're on your phone because obviously you don't want to walk around with your computer in the field. Um, and this uh, website is completely mobile optimized, so it's um, quite a nice experience. And um, so those are the most important um, parts of, um, of, of these maps. Um, uh, one other thing that I can maybe also just point out, early in the season, everything might show up as red. Um, and I think this might be an example. Um, so if you look at this half of this pivot point, if you look at the half, it's pretty red and you can't really see any, um, any patterns forming here. But if you look at the moisture layer, you can see that there's variances. And that's just because the moisture layer just shows it up, uh, shows it a little, little bit different. And, and even on the color layer, you will see that there are variations there. So early in the season, when you see all of this red, um, and we might actually be able to see that uh, if we go back in time. Um, maybe this is a good, good example, let me just see. Yeah. I don't know whether they've actually planted something here uh, at this specific date, uh, but if you've got something like this where you've got so much red, uh, a good way to start is actually to look at the moisture and color layer first because there you would actually have more variances than with the, with the health map. And um, I would say those are the most important things that you need to keep in mind when you look at these maps. So in the next videos, I'm going to look at the specifics of what these different layers mean, what the colors mean, what you can actually find, and uh, many other things.